All right, we're going to do entry boxes. I'm switching recording techniques. I'm using OBS now. I think it'll give a, uh, a um, sharper image. I hope so. Anyway, um, here we are with the... Um, I've rearranged things. I All of the debris that was up here, I've moved um, down here into one of these tabs. Um, so it's cleaned up the screen a bit. But everything is there the same as it was before. <coughs> Uh, when you cut and paste, you have to be careful because sometimes it loses information, radio buttons especially. Uh, the radio buttons um, lose their connectivity. But basically, that's all I did was cut and paste. But be careful if you do it. Anyway, I've moved to tab 2 as my next um, available location. I also moved the labels over here and got rid of the coloring. Um, and in terms of the labels, um, you notice they're left justified now, as opposed to be uh, as, as opposed to being uh, centered. Uh, the justification is um, right down here, alignment and padding. That was you see the vertical there is 0 0.50, which means halfway. Um, zero means all the way to the left. So zero means all the way to the left. Right mean uh, one means all the way to the right. So that's where you do it. They were they were not enabled. They were just defaulted to um, 0.5. Um, but now uh, so it's uh, left justified, uh, which is more normal. But that's how you would justify the labels. Uh, all right. Um, getting back over here into um, into my GTK fixed for frame number two. Uh, what did I do? Uh, I added this guy here. It is an entry box. And you go up here to control, and you'll see a GTK entry, which I simply dragged down here. Now, the GTK entry, I, um, I, the width request is, it determines how wide it will be. Um, you know, you can make it a little wider and so forth. Uh, it comes up with a default. I forget what the, um, the height request was uh, too chunky, obviously. Uh, the default is enough for text. All right, so I've got that in there. Um, I don't think I changed anything else in particular here. It's pretty much the standard um, entry box. I gave it a name, of course, Entry 1. Uh, and let's see, I moved it around uh, so it's uh, at the beginning of the frame. Uh, anything else up here? No. Um, in terms of signals, the signal I went on it is um, in under GTK Editable. Don't go on a GTK entry. Go to G There's a million signals you can get. If somebody looks at it, you'll get a signal. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, signals which you can play around with at your leisure, but if all you want to do is get text, go to GTK Editable, and under the Changed signal, um, make the usual entry on Entry 1 Changed will be the, um, will be the uh, callback function that gets called when something occurs in here. Okay, I also added a button. And this is uh, button number two. I already have a button number one. Um, and the location, and it's just got the word clear in it, which is down here. Okay. Um, what it'll do is clear the, uh, clear the entry. Uh, and the signal here is when clicked, on button two clicked, and you'll see it in the code. Okay, so on button two clicked, and we've got the entry, and the entry is GTK editable changed. All right, bringing up the um, the code. Uh, the code actually apparently had an entry uh, in here. Before. It's been in here for a while. I don't know. I was debris from something earlier. I tried, but GTK entry one is already in here, and I've added button two up here. It seems a little better to um, keep them grouped, although you don't have to obviously. And there's the button two, and um, GTK entry is around here someplace. Um, Oh, there it is. Um, and I'm about to search for it. So it's been captured. Okay, going down to the end. Um, on entry one changed, and it receives a GTK entry. I declare a, a temporary character string. Uh, you notice that it's a 128 characters. That can be a little dicey if somebody decides to start typing in the Magna Carta or something. Um, so you may want to restrict it. And you can restrict it back in entry over here. I'll go back to here and go back to uh, general. Maximum width in characters. Okay. And you can um, you, you can restrict it from getting too big. Um, okay. So I didn't, but you may want to. Yeah, a user input should not be allowed to overflow the buffer. All right. Um, Sprintf. I write into temp. 
the phrase entry equals and then percent sign s the uh, character string and the character string comes from gtk entry get text that's the function and you pass down to it the pointer to the gtk entry and it will fetch you the text um, which is in there the current text that's in there so every time you type a character you're going to get uh, get a changed uh, signal uh, you've got to come up with some way of determining when it's all done um, which is probably another button which says go or something like that but every time they type you'll get another character in um, and then i use it to go to gdk label set as we've uh, set text as we've done before and i set label one and i, I pass to it um, the text that's in temp um, okay um, the other one here is the button too if it gets clicked it does one thing it deletes the text um, gtk editable delete text is the function and i have to pass to it a gtk editable um, entity well entry one is a gtk entry but an, en an entry is a gtk editable so i can cast um, entry which is actually declared as a widget but its contents are a gtk edit excuse me gtk entry um, and i can cast it to be a gtk editable uh, entry exists because of the builder up above so i don't have to worry about making sure it, it's there it is now the parameters to it you can um you you can there's two of them start and end um, you can um, delete portions of the text uh, but if you start at zero uh, guess what that means and minus one means through the end uh, so that deletes the entire text fairly straightforward um, and if we go back um, if we exit here and we compile and if we run it uh, you can see um, see it here in tab 2 all right there's the text up there now every as I start typing um, see there's the a came up under entry as I type along okay and hopefully I don't get to 120 uh, nine characters are actually 128 because you get the zero at the end um anyway um but nonetheless it's 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 uh, typing along again i've only got a clear button but right next to it would probably be a button that says go when uh, when you finish typing the entry you would have some kind of an activate button but if i click the clear button you can see there they go a clear shows uh, it actually uh, clear since it does represent a change to the um entry box it does um, result in a uh, in a call to the um, to the first function there, uh, and it, you will see entry equals empty. It's nothing, but there was a change. Um, so, yeah. So when I uh, clear it, um, that is actually a callback. So every character going in is is going to is going to result in um, in a value, and every time you call it, of course, you get the entire value. So when, if you have an activate string down here, it should work okay. And the other material is just, just as it was. I've, all I've done is cleaned up the, the uh, screen a bit. Um, I've left all of these things in here because uh, accumulating, because um, all, the, all the code is there, why not have all the buttons too? Um, the purpose of this is to be a cookbook so if you want to put a toggle button you've got a toggle button you can go into the code and see how it works so everything is left here it wasn't intended intended to be a, a trash heap but a dump of everything but it's probably better that everything be in here all right we've um let's let's see if the uh, the new recording mechanism actually works bring up obs and i will stop the recording <laughs>